father's house and joins him did she join a curse that brought a compounded curse or did she join somebody that knew the art of bringing a blessing to the house and you will know that by his spiritual intelligence information yes inform my people don't perish because of the lack of three hour prayer What is the fact? My people perish. Why? Yes. Find somebody. I may not be blessed. But I have understanding of how to get blessed. Hagar was an Egyptian woman. She was an Egyptian maid. She was not a Hebrew maid. What is the verse? Verse 1, Prophet. Now Sarai, Abraham's wife, bare him no children. No children. and she had an handmaid an egyptian whose name was hagar egyptian she's a egyptian woman she's not even a, a hebrew huh? her god was not jehovah <laughs> yeah 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 some heathen are more blessed than christians so <laughs> huh? because you you pray they they follow principle I'm telling you the number of times I've seen this in the scriptures it blows me away that God didn't check her religion status. Is it as long as you can submit to someone that hears my voice. Harana kasat halaba. Already the blessing from Abraham began to flow to Hagar. She began to experience experience the same level ay 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 god is not like you know i give you pennies but they they are special no 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 but if you can submit the grace of nations that is on abraham <laughs> do you know god changed the abraham's name from abram to abraham do you know the meaning of abram was already an exalted father a great father no huh? a great father but god is coming to him and saying i'm turning from abram to abraham he's saying i'm changing your blessing by a dimension now it is going to be a father to nations do you know god changed the name of sarah her name was originally sarai to sarah sarai also means princess but it was my princess god says no no she won't just be your princess i want to change her to a mother of nations so she can't just be your princess so change her name to just princess prophet i have it here genesis uh-huh. chapter 17 yeah verse 2 and i will make my covenant between me and thee Hmm. and will multiply thee exceedingly that's good because the name by which you have called for the longest of time you 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 are known as a father but god is saying i'm interested in making you a father of nations for the longest of time you were just called the princess but now i want you to be a mother to nations i will cause you to be multiplied so there was already a blessing of multiplication on papa and mama and she is leaving because she's saying they are mean to me because saying what are you doing go back because something has to come out of you but when that something is being birthed it has to be the umbilical cord in the spirit realm has to be connected to something that is blessed i'm telling you before the enemy can fight you he has to disconnect you from your deliverer because he cannot take you down as long as you're plugged in to a grace a grace that is plugged in what you're connected to is your choice but please don't don't tell me 
there for decades hi that your children are going to enter into a generation where the papa and mama didn't do enough to break a certain curse on their life there is no urgency urgency you are getting some money your job is paid house is good there is no urgency urgency don't let the enemy make you comfortable until you fully destroy every generational curse that has been coming down from your house to your house from generation to let everything be eliminated i said what everything be eliminated you can start now child of god you can start now amen huh who told you that your income is what your job is giving you who told you that who told you that why do you believe that who told you that huh you 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 allow life to tell you what it is but you didn't check with god you didn't check with your creator you didn't check is this is this haratoba is this the limitation i must live with you're so scared that if god gives you an extra car you you're going to backslide how about you having a dozen car and still loving jesus <laughs> who told you who told you that you cannot be blessed and still be faithful ask abraham <laughs> ask abraham he was so blessed oh he was so blessed that malki selek said i i like this guy i i don't mind talking to this guy huh Malki Sadek yes. is in the Bible some of you are looking at me like who is that guy uh, he left heaven to say hi to Abraham because Abraham was attracting a certain spirit yeah because he carried the spirit Meron de Benekezi there is there is somebody that is going to watch this video ah and God is about to raise you up as a general hey ah uh. the god that located hagar is locating you today in whatever wilderness you are in i want to prophesy over you you will come out you have to come out whatever limitations that has been passed down from your father's side from your mother's side it shall not hold you you shall come out of it in jesus name i am a soldier oh i am a witcher i have no victory He goes before me and is fighting for me. Oh, row, row, row. He has done it for me. He rose through me. The Lord is fighting for you tonight. I said the Lord is fighting for you. Battles are happening right now. Every demon is fighting you from your family. 
generational demons. We command you to bow down to Jesus. Fire! Command it out, 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 out. Wherever you are, be loose in the name of Jesus. God is breaking bondages all over this place. In the name of Jesus. Father, every limitation that has come down in your blood, that is fighting your marriage, today, let angels of God go capture that demons. Lord, let there be victory in marriages today. Wherever you are, receive victory. Lord. There has been certain witchcrafts that were sent against your house that caused seismic activities that has recorded in the past because of certain witchcrafts that were sent. Today, as you come in agreement with this grace, we command wherever the seismic activities was triggered from, I send it back in Jesus' name. One, two, three. In Jesus' mighty name. Wherever this is coming back, Holy Ghost fire. Be uprooted from your house. Be uprooted from your children. Be uprooted from your family. Be loosed in the mighty name of Jesus. There is a girl, you, you've had conversation with snakes in your dream. Conversation, some kind of words were spoken. Today, we cancel you from that memory from that thought. Lord, all you remember is snakes in your dream. Snakes in your dream. Snakes in your dream. I want to pray that that breaks. There's more than one person. All right, let's pray. Father, in the name of Jesus. Lord, for those who are tired of these demonic attacks, today let the breakthrough begin in Jesus. Lord, shine your light upon your children tonight. Dada, shine your light. Dada, shine your light. Lord, change them. Lord, there has been great grace that located me. Tonight, by their coming to this ministry, let that same grace locate your children. Oh, I wish your amens were louder than that. What is this operation that I see? Operation. I see like a cut of a wound. We have to disconnect you from this operation. Lord, I lift our people to you. I love you, Lord. Today, I, I prophetically said that. You may have heard it as a good point. But the Lord told me, somebody that is listening to my sermon today, my teaching today, is going to three times earn more than what you currently earn. Three times. I want you to believe that. I want you to receive that. I don't want you to go back. No, no, no. This limitation has to break. Agree with me. This limitation has to break. Father, I lift your children to you. It is your heart 
that no limitations from their father's house from their mother's house will stop them set us on a new trajectory take us from glory to glory we bless your name in jesus name we pray amen. and everybody said aloud amen. amen you can give the best hand clap you can Listen. I remember one time I went to Zimbabwe where my spiritual father is and I told the my brother who was driving me uh I told him man of god this time when I go back I'm going to go back with a fresh mantle. I'm here for a mantle. He said for sure for sure man of god I believe that will happen. And then the next statement threw me off. He said but the question is will you know when the mantle has fallen? what do you mean like is he not going to smother his hand on my head and pour some oil or throw his jacket on me or something like that because i came from that kind of a expectation that that statement changed my life will i know when grace is imparted or will i think that it is now me can i recognize when it is a grace can i give god the glory will i learn that something has shifted in me today can you believe a curse is broken today can you believe it is done that means you have to go back and create new habits yes. what you have to create what new habits. yes new habits new habits remember i started with that yes. <laughs> yeah you can be in a cloud and you can have a certain habits of the dark cloud now you create new habits you will begin to see better results yes. the same place where you invested money and lost now when you go to launch that net you will see fish will enter Amen. that which is hidden god is bringing it to the surface Amen. hidden resources Amen. that you didn't know you had access to it's all coming up an angel of the lord was dispatched and the lord has held many of your hands Amen. you have been removed from your egypt Amen. you have been removed from your wilderness Amen. and the lord is releasing providence 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 ah i'm after your heart i'm after your heart I'm after you. God bless you, family. The Lord loves you so much. I'm only an extension of God's love for you. So give him all the praise. Okay? Welcome. We are grateful for the grace of God that has visited you through this program. For God so loved the world that he sent us his word and that is Jesus. That means when God wants to express his love to a group of people, he will express it by sending his word. And I believe when the word comes, deliverance will follow, breakthrough will follow. The word has come to you and to your family. You will never be the same again. So go forward with this great faith. If you're blessed with this ministry, would you take a minute and partner with us and help us to take this word to the nations? Don't forget to connect to all our different social media platforms. Until we meet again, shalom. Distance is not a barrier to God. Revive Nations TV is now open to live participation to our services. 